Hey, so this is Aaron, the Metal Theologian here, and this is a uh, very, very belated response to a Greeno thread, actually, or a Greeno video from about two years ago, but, uh, you know, I've been going through all the old shit since I'm kind of new to this, and uh, found one about uh, your best cheap scores. So, um, about, uh, God, probably 12 years ago now or something like that, I was living in L.A., and uh, my uh, then, actually my now 12-year-old, my uh, then very young, uh, older kid, younger one didn't exist yet, starting to get into shit. And so I went to a little, uh, uh, like a baby-proofing supply shop on, I think it was on Bundy in West L.A. So I pop in there to grab some shit. Notice there's a thrift store across the street. Go, so, ah, eh, maybe they have some records. I should probably pop in and take a look. Probably won't find anything. I won't get my hopes up, but... What the hell? So I go in there, right? All the records are 50 cents. It's already pretty damn good. And uh, I actually found some uh, pretty good shit. Let's see. Um, what was it that I found that day? Now, there was something I found that was pretty amazing. Well, that's a pretty cool record, but uh, not as good as some of their earlier shit. And, uh, you know, it's not like a big like deal. That, I don't think that was it. Hang on. Let me see what else I got that day. Let's see. Oh, wow, 50 cents. I haven't seen this around for 50 cents, but I don't know. It's not exactly like the Holy Grail or anything like that. It's just kind of, you know, for Beatles record, it's pretty damn good. But, uh, you know what? Oh, wait a second. Here it is. You see what that is? 50 cents. So yeah, it's kind of funny. It's not a second state, it's not a third state. It's sort of a 2.5 state. But in a way that makes it even more bizarre because someone knew enough to peel it and then ended up at the thrift store anyway. Or to try to peel it, I should say. So uh, I talked about it with a friend of mine who um, sort of theorized why this might have ended up there. And the only thing we could think of was that someone died and you know the survivor gave, it all the, uh, gave away all the shit to the thrift store, which kind of makes it all the more... Um, Interesting that it's John Lennon who's exposed, right? But, um, yeah, uh, in a way, this kind of sucked because this is kind of going to be my best deal forever. I mean, this is this this record, I tell people I found this for 50 cents. They don't have to be record collectors to get the significance of that. You know, it's like I tell you, oh, I got a fucking Dark Star record for two ninety nine at a little place. I mean, you know, it's like, yeah, the mega record geeks, they go, oh, holy shit, I can't believe it. Like, the fucking, I can tell any Joe Schmo off the street, hey, guess what, I found a butcher cover for 50 cents. And they go, oh my god, what the fuck? So, yeah, it's kind of all downhill from here in a way, but uh, this is my uh, best uh, cheap record finding story. And um, that's my... Uh, way belated response to a very interesting thread that, uh, look, I'm out of focus. A very interesting thread that Greeno started uh, quite a while back and uh, hopefully, shit, what the fuck, man. Hopefully it'll inspire some of you all to uh, chime back in with that because uh, I have a feeling y'all have found some good stuff in the meantime. Alright, take it easy.